What's going on guys? Philip Leo here, team shooter for Short Action Customs. And on behalf of the team at Short Action Customs, we wanna thank you guys for your business. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Short Action Customs Infinity Die. We'll talk about what's in the box, the nomenclature and the components that make up the Infinity Die, how to change out the cartridge centering sleeve, and how to properly set up the Infinity Die so that you can start seating bullets. With that, let's go ahead and dive right into it. When you get the Infinity Die, you'll see that it's packaged nicely inside of this orange protective case. And when you open it up, you will have three top pushers, a small cartridge centering sleeve, the Infinity Die body assembly, six bullet seating stems, and the cartridge base insert that you chose based off the cartridge that you plan on loading. Keep in mind, you can add additional cartridge base inserts that are sold separately. So let's go ahead and pull these out of the box to get a closer look at them. Now that everything's outside of the box, let's get familiar with the nomenclature of the Infinity Die. First are the cartridge base inserts. Other cartridge base inserts are sold separately. The Infinity Die can support from 223 Remington to 33 Lapua. The Infinity Die body, the cartridge centering sleeves, the small one supports small cartridges like 223 Remington, and the standard, which is already installed in the die, will support 22 cal through 338. Six bullet seating stems, two for the small calibers, and four for standard calibers from 22 through 338. Three top pushers of different sizes are categorized as short, medium, and long. One thing to note is that the O-ring can be removed from the top pusher it is installed at the shop to prevent the top pusher from falling out of the die. The Infinity Die Body Assembly is composed of five main components. One, the Infinity Main Body. Two, the Adjustable Index Ring. Three, the Micrometer Head. Four, the Internal Threaded Stop. And five, the Cartridge Centering Sleeve. Lastly, the Infinity Die has 40 thousandths of travel per revolution. Changing out the Cartridge Centering Sleeve. If you want to change out the cartridge centering the sleeve, first we have to remove the internal threaded stop from the Infinity main body. To do this, we're going to take the Infinity die and rotate the micrometer head counterclockwise. As you do that, you'll start to see the internal threaded stop start to protrude from the die assembly. From here, you should be able to take the internal threaded stops and rotate it clockwise with your fingers. And the reason why you are rotating it clockwise is because it is a left-hand thread. So now I have the internal threaded stop removed from the infinity die. And to swap out the cartridge centering sleeve from the standard to the small, that is how I would swap out. Now just drop it in and reinstall the internal threaded stop. To reinstall the internal threaded stop back into the main body, you'll take the internal threaded stop and rotate it counterclockwise. And if you notice along the internal threaded stop, you'll have grooves and inside of the main body, there are pins. And I'm going to Screw this down until it bottoms out. And the goal is to line these grooves up back into the pins. And to do this, once it bottoms out, this is the tricky part, is we want to take that micrometer and now rotate it clockwise slowly because what we're hoping is that the grooves catch on to the pins. So I'm going to now rotate this slowly and I'm looking for the grooves to stop moving and you'll see it catch. And if it doesn't, then just rotate it back down and there it just caught. And now I can rotate this clockwise until the internal threaded stop is flush with the top of the micrometer head. Now, if you go too fast, one thing that you'll notice is that the micrometer will want to disassemble from the main body. If you see that, stop what you're doing and 
push the micrometer head back down. So now I have the internal thread to stop back to somewhat flush. And now I'm going to go ahead and just reset this index ring back to zero. Now we're going to talk about how to properly set up the infinity die so that you can start seeding bullets. Step one, select the cartridge base insert. I'll be using a 6.5 Creedmoor for my demonstration. So in this case, I'll be selecting a type four cartridge base insert. Step two, take a dummy round that is loaded for one of your loads and place it into the cartridge base insert. For this example, I'm using one of my 6.5 Creedmoor loads with a 140 ELDM. Step three, select the bullet seating stem for the cartridge that you're gonna be loading for. In this case, I'll be selecting the M1 bullet seating stem. Then you're gonna drop it into the infinity die body and just make sure that it drops all the way. So I'm just gonna wiggle around until it falls all the way down to the bottom. Step four, we recommend as a starting point that your internal threaded stop is somewhat flush near the top of the micrometer head and that you set your index ring to zero. And again, for this demonstration, I'll be doing that. So the internal threaded stop is somewhat flush and my index ring is set to zero. Step five, now I'm gonna take the infinity die body assembly and drop it over the cartridge base insert as well as the dummy round. Step six, now we're gonna select a top pusher. One thing to keep in mind is that there's gonna be some trial and error in this step. One thing we recommend is starting with the shortest top pusher and then working your way from there. So with that, I'm gonna start with the shortest one and I'm going to drop it in. As a reminder, you can remove those O-rings so that it doesn't have that pressure built to it. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it on. And right now I have it completely pushed down to the bottom. And right now what I'm looking for is a gap between the top of the internal threaded stop and the top pusher. Right now there's no gap. So this is a potential candidate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it off to the side here. Now I'm moving to the medium top pusher and I'm gonna push it down all the way. And if you notice, there is a slight gap between the top of the internal threaded stop and the top pusher. So in theory, if I put this in an arbor press right now, that would seat the bullet deeper. And now this is the top pusher obviously that I don't want. So now I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and go back to the smaller one. Step seven. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the micrometer and I'm gonna rotate it four full rotations. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is completely based off your cartridge overall length. Use your best judgment and maybe start at one, two, or three full rotations. But because I have already done this prior to the video, I know that four full rotations is gonna get me somewhere in the ballpark. So I'm gonna take my infinity die body and I'm gonna rotate it four full rotations. As a reminder, one full rotation is 40 thousandths of travel. One, two, three, four. Step eight. Now that I've done my rotations, I'm gonna go ahead and put the infinity die assembly with the top pusher back on top of the cartridge base insert in the cartridge and ensure that the top pusher doesn't pop back up. And I know that, okay, I'm not gonna seat that bullet any deeper if I go to load a dummy round right now. Step nine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and seat a bullet to see where I'm actually at. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to measure the dummy case, my cartridge base O drive, and the measurement that I get is 2.104. 2.104 is my cartridge base O drive. And I'm gonna take a prepped cartridge case, a 140 ELDM. And now I'm going to seat the bullet utilizing a 21st century Arbor Press.
Now that's it seated, I'm gonna go ahead and measure to see where I'm at. And right now I am 2.108, so just four thousandths over. And now in theory, all I have to do is move the micrometer four thousandths and I should be set to start loading for my 6.5 Creedmoor 140 yield EMs. For another quick demonstration, I'm gonna use a 6BRA so that you can see the purpose of the top pusher. So here I have one of my 6BRA pet loads, which is a 108 yield EM. And I'm gonna select a cartridge base, which is type four, drop it into the cartridge base insert. And I'm going to, again, ensure that my micrometer top is somewhat near flush to the internal threaded stop. As a reminder, you don't have to start there. We just recommend that for a starting point. So now I'm going to drop that over the top and I'm gonna go through my process of elim elimination for the top pushers. Starting with the shortest one, as I insert, there's no gap. So this is, yes, obviously a potential candidate, Try the medium one, still do, don't touch. Okay, that is also a potential candidate. And then with the third or the longest top pusher, drop it in and it still doesn't touch. So obviously I wouldn't use the first two, I just go straight to the long one. And now from here, I would do one full rotation on the micrometer head. and I'm looking for a gap, and right now there's no gap. And a good way to look at that is if I were to hold down this top pusher, grab the die body and lift up, you should see a gap between the die body and the cartridge base insert. And that is how you know you would be seating that bullet in, in case that you are putting this underneath a arbor press. So. This would be a good starting point to see where I'm at with my 6BRA because I've done one full rotation. I don't wanna to go too deep, right? But for instructional purposes, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens when you are almost too deep with the longest top pusher. So I'm gonna do another full rotation here. Nothing. That's two, this is number three, four, five. Okay, and I'm gonna just exaggerate a little bit and I'm just gonna go six. Okay, so I'm, I'm at six full rotations on the infinity die. And when I put this into the, over the cartridge base insert and the dummy round, what you'll notice is if the top pusher is pushed all the way down where it's meeting the top of the internal thread stop and I put this inside the cartridge base, if I push down on it, now what you'll see is I'm pushing down on the internal threaded stop. There's a gap here between the cartridge base insert and the infinity uh, die body. So again, what would happen is if I put this underneath a press, it would seat that bullet deeper than my original dummy load case. So here I would just back off the micrometer head until I don't have that gap. So at four rotations, I don't have that gap, even if by pushing down on the micrometer head top and lifting up. And this is where my starting point would be for the six BRA. And that is how you properly set up the Short Action Customs Infinity Die. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to email us at the shop with the links provided down below. Thank you for choosing Short Action Customs, your foundation for precision. And lastly, you guys know the drill, keep your face on the gun.